guys, America, and today I want to talk to you about Chris and Iceland before I even start. I do not speak Icelandic, um, so for one part I do have Google Translate up to translate part of it. Um, well, let's get in this, to this. Christmas is often known as Yule or Jul in Iceland. This comes from the ancient winter solstice celebrations that are taken over by the early Christians. Yule also includes the New Year celebration. There is a lot of costumes and traditions about Yule in Iceland. The Yule seasons consist of the following days. St. Thorlark's Day, December 23rd, Iceland's major saint is St. Thorlark, the Bishop of Sackholt. December 23rd is the day on which he died. A St. Thorlark's Day the main custom is to eat a simple meal of skata or skeet. The Yule or Christmas tree is usually decorated on this day. This also is a big shopping day for last minute gifts, with some stores remaining open until midnight. Next is Christmas Eve or Yule Eve. A celebration started in Iceland around 6 p.m. on Yule Eve. This may have come from old Icelandic traditions when a new day starts at 6 p.m., not midnight. Icelandic children open their presents after the evening meal on Christmas Eve. This is when the Yule celebration really starts. TV used to stop at 5 p.m. at about 5 p.m. and we start at uh, 10 p.m. But now TV is on all through the Christmas period. Christmas Day, Yule Day. Christmas Day is usually celebrated with extended family. The main Yule meal is Hagerjot. A leg of roast lamb, sometimes rushpa, rock partisan, seabird, is also eaten. Another Yule meal specialty is lafa bird, a leaf bread. This is made of thin sheets of dough cut into delicate shapes and fried. Each family often has their own patterns for the lafa bird. Boxing Day. This is another day vis for visiting fam friends and family and eating lots more. Public entertainment is considered important, inappropriate on Yule Eve and Yule Day, and it is on Boxing Day the dancing is again allowed in public. New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day. This is one of the most important nights of the year in Iceland, and there are many magical traditions that are supposed to happen on it. Cows are meant to be able to talk, seals take on human form, the dead rise from the graves, and elves move house. Bonfires have been lit on Christmas Eve since the late 1700s. People also have big firework displays to bring in the new year. The Epiphany, January 6th. This is the last day of Yule. Celebrated with bonfires and elfland dance. Many of the magical tradition, traditions associated with New Year's Eve are also supposed to happen at the Epiphany. Well, one other big Yula custom comes from the Jol of Vesterna, or Yuletide Labs. These are magical people who come from the mountains in Iceland, and each day in December, from December 12th to Yule, to Yule Eve, a different Yuletide Lad comes. Yuletide Lads first came to Iceland in the 17th century as the son of Gurla and Lepule, a couple of child eating bloodthirsty ogres. And this is the part I Google translated, so I don't get it wrong. Shoot. Try this again. Has on off. Okay, so essentially what most of that translates to is here are the 13 of the most common names of Santa. Impy, Gully, Imp, Itty, Bitty, Pot Skipper, Licker, Pot Licker, Bull Licker, Door Slammer, Scry, Gobbler, Sausage Snatcher, Window People, Doorway Sniffer, Meat Hooker, and Candle Beggar. That uh, seems like a lot. The Jolvenar are thought of as playful imps or elves who like lots to eat and are playing little tricks on people. They leave little presents for children and shoes, place on the windowsill, 
If the children have been naughty, they might leave a potato or a little message telling them to be good. They start going home on Christmas Day, with the last one leaving on, 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 December 23rd. Alright. A present might also be bought by Yule Man. It is tradition in Iceland that everybody has a new piece of clothes for Yule, and also often a book. Children also traditionally receive a candle and sometimes a pack of cards. There are no native evergreens in ice, evergreen trees in Iceland. So the first Yule or Christmas tree are Rowan, Mountain Ash. The first recorded Yule tree was in 1862. People then started making Yule trees from a central pole with branches attached to it, and it was all painted green. Nowadays, that's not leafy Christmas tree. Nowadays, there are evergreen trees grown on ice. Iceland and people have evergreens. Yule trees. It is traditional to have a star or crown on top of the tree. The Icelandic flag is also commonly used as a decoration. The tree is normally decorated on uh, December 23rd or early Christmas Eve. A very large tree stands outside the capital of Iceland, Cathedral. Cathedral, and is a yearly present for the people of Oslo, Norway. <laughs> From the people of Oslo, Norway. In Iceland, the traditional Christmas meal is roast lamb. Some people like to have it smoked to add flavor, and traditionally it is smoked over sheep's dung. It is still done in a few places today. Like in Finland, cemeteries are often lit up and decorated with Christmas lights all over. So, t if you remember in the Finland one, that they used to go and like place the lights at the graves. That is essentially what is happening here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Love you. See ya. Bye.